Namaste, this is Meekla here from Pujas.in. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a very important observation that I have made over these years of uh, astrology consultation and going through so many horoscopes. Uh, I find something very interesting at the same time uh, very alarming that you know some people have a very good planetary positions as per their horoscope and uh, despite which they are suffering and they don't know why they are suffering. So when they come and when I check the dasha is good, the gochar is good, the planetary positions are very good and um, and despite that why are they suffering? So one question that I have been asking them is how do you treat your parents? So some of them say yeah very good we are together, some say no we live separately but I take care of the needs and things like that. But my point is not about money or um, whether it's a nuclear family or a joint family. My point is what is your feeling towards them? See because uh, we all treat planets in a very different way. We fear them but we don't understand that uh, you know they are watching us all the time and they are also directing our lives in many ways as per our karma. So what actually happens is that um, you know when we do a job for example um, we are saying okay Mangalaya Namaha for example I am just giving you a very simple Namavali name for Mangal. So if you say uh, Mangalaya Namaha or Buddhaya Namaha for Buddha so like that when you do why, why do you do that so that you know you catch their attention and then they work better for you okay so the negative impact is reduced but there is other thing there are other things also which they look at and what is that is how do you emote what kind of feelings do you have what actions do you perform what are the non-actions all these things the planets are observing us all the time so everything is an approach one step towards them it's just not Jap or Abhishek or Havan they also see how you behave and uh, how you think how you act and then further karma is also um, you know formed because of that so this video why I, I chose to do this is I think it's very important and it's very simple also if you follow this um, you will start seeing changes in your life you know unfortunately it's like a dangling carrot you know you want your life to be better you treat the parents properly that is the kind of attitude um, unfortunately like you know a stick holding a stick in your hand and saying you, you treat your parents well so that's what I'm coming to so uh, you know some people call and say I have Pitru Dosh Surya and Rahu are together Surya is on Rahu Nakshatra and vice versa and you know hundred combinations I just want to say that Pitru Dosh is just not that it's also not that uh, your Pitrus are just not satisfied and things like that but it also indicates the unnatural death in the family or if somebody has died very early in a very young age and they have not uh, you know, uh, got satisfaction because rites and rituals were not performed all these contribute to Pitra Dosh but when you actually start uh, treating your parents if they are alive in a very divine way because they are actually equivalent to God then you are recognized in the kingdom of God so even if you don't pray to any form of divinity just offering your pranams treating your parents with respect but lot of love and affection can change your life for the best you won't even imagine that your life could have been so wonderful and your life becomes that wonderful if you don't have parents in the physical form if they're not alive then um, praying to their photograph photograph gives concentration but if you dissolve them in your heart nothing like it um, but if you just pray to them um, every day you know you can see the changes in your life because in different forms of astrology we say that uh, Pitru Devatas are the ones who come and guard you they are like a protective shield and even if you want something you know if you don't ask God also you ask your Pitru Devatas they are they work really strong to make things happen for you if you are looking for a transformational change in your life just pray to your Pitru Devatas and give them great reverence whatever differences you may have had even you know when they were alive just set everything aside and in your mind you forgive them if you feel you you are the one who's being really hurt and um, you are the victim you know if you have such feelings ill feelings just 
let go of all those feelings you know offer it to god and forgive them in your heart because we are all egoistic people and uh, you know unless we feel we have to forgive we are the ones who need to forgive not they then it becomes uh, it's just a matter of ego that's all who is forgiving whom so just let go of everything and uh, you pray to them every day and you see how much difference it makes i'm not saying just offering flowers is enough just develop the reverential feeling they are higher beings now and they uh, vibrate in a very different way they are not like they are not limited like a human being because human beings have a body and they are very limited but then if you go um, one step ahead when they are not alive and you just pray and relate to them every day then um, you know they vibrate in a very high frequency i'm not saying you should emotionally um, bind them with your uh, moha vyamoh we say no like that's what my guru says don't try to pull them to this earth by crying weeping and sorrow are you why did you leave me and go i miss you so much like it's not like that you also have to emote in a way that they also um are in a po- you give them the um power to work in your favor to work for you to make you grow see even after they leave the body they have the responsibility of um, making you also uh, evolve so they will be working towards that even the rishis the gotra rishis also do that they're constantly around us and they're always trying to help us improve but it's just that because we cannot see them we are not sensitive to feel their energy uh, we feel we are all alone in life we don't have anybody to solve our problems nobody to hear or listen to us and things like that so my whole point here is that you know if you feel there's something missing in your life there's a void or somewhere you're just not able to progress that means you need the grace of the pitru devatas and once you connect to them in this manner every day the best part is that even if you feel um, you know you lack some skills and talents they will give you that if it's there in your hereditary and uh, in your um, genes so uh, one example is that if you are for example you are a housewife or a homemaker and your mother was an excellent cook or your grandmother would cook really well and you don't know how to go about it you don't know that recipe now of course everything is available on google and you may find it but you may not get the same taste so uh, what you could do is when you connect to the ancestors and all that automatically you just make one prayer and tell you be there while i'm cooking or you just make this happen and you see it will taste exactly like how your mother would have cooked or your grandmother would have cooked this is a very basic example i'm trying to tell you uh, there are many more things like that so uh, pitru dosh is not just about giving uh, food on a particular uh, tithi that is uh, you know shrad performing the shrad the rites and rituals that is equally important you have to do that but apart from that uh, you know praying to them every day will really help you don't pray to god it's still pardonable but you know praying to your pitru devatas is extremely crucial this is what my guru has taught me and um, um, we give great importance to uh, offering our pranams and having our feeling of reverence to pitru devatas it is very very crucial for your growth for your peace for your, the development of your family because many pitru dosh uh, affected families i have seen them the progeny doesn't grow and you know the life becomes very stagnant and there's no enthusiasm there's no luster in life you know they just lead a very karmic and mechanical life although they have everything they have health they have wealth they have prosp they have everything but they're not happy so then you should check back and see how it is and if you have your parents alive and if you have differences i suggest that because uh, you are the son or daughter just go and apologize set things right and uh, you know take their blessings every day every single day if you have an option or an opportunity to do namaskar to them every day please do that it's a very very good samskar that you can follow and you can feel the empowerment in your life so this is exactly what i wanted to share today so i did get a few questions related to pitru dosh especially if pitru dosh is connected to some genetic disease or things like that uh, well uh, genetic diseases are some things which you can experience on your own anyway if you have something you go to the doctor the doctor will tell you yeah yeah is it genetic was your mother uh having this your father also suffering from this like that they question 
they trace back and they try to find out but my point is not that i'm looking at more of the positive aspects what you can adopt from your um, genetic inheritance and that is something like it could be skills and powers talents and more than anything else getting their blessings that is the best thing that you can ever get and that is the biggest treasure uh, provided you value it and you know of it otherwise you just take it for granted oh my mother is there she is there to cook always oh my father is there he is there to provide when I need you know this kind of an attitude really will not uh, help you grow and evolve beyond a point because a mother and father are always unconditional they will go on giving they will do their best but uh, when we don't do it that's when we accumulate karma that's when the planets will start showing us that you know you have not done this in your past life or you're not doing this in this present life so past is something you cannot undo you just have to go through but in the present definitely you can so and i really hope you do after this video um and you know you, you may feel or your parents may feel what is this weird thing suddenly he started you know showing love and reverence uh, what's wrong with you like that you know because the culture has changed so much it's okay don't worry about uh, you know what they think or uh, what your relatives would think you know they're going to love it so you just um, start doing your bit and also teach your children to do that teach your family to do that show your friends also that this is making a difference in your life and uh, help them also evolve thank you so much namaste